Good morning, everyone. This is Tanya from The Hood Table, from Tanya's Primetime TV Media Reviews, and also from Tanya's Delight Slice by Slice. And today you guys are going to watch me prepare, make and prepare a cookie monster cake for a baby shower, which is um, for later this afternoon. And the cookie monster cake that we're going to make, um, the outside of the cake, we're going to use buttercream frosting to design the cookie monster cake. But on the inside of the cake, it's going to be full of homemade cookie dough. So what we're going to do right now, uh, first of all, I would like you guys to please do me a favor, support the video by liking it, sharing it, and also subscribing to the channel, to The Hood Table, Tanya's Primetime TV Media Reviews, and to Tanya's Delight Slice by Slice. I have three YouTube channels. They each have a Facebook page, Twitter page, and uh, Instagram as well. So please and thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. And first off, what we're going to do is make the cake. And then after we make the cake, um, it's going to I'm going to give it time to cool off. And then we're going to make the cookie dough. And then we're going to put the cake together. So first thing first, you guys, we're going to start off with our, our ingredients. I have most of my ingredients off to the side so you can't see them. What I have in here right now, though, is sugar. And the first thing that we're using is sugar, two cups of sugar. And this is to make the cake. And then we're going to use, um, on top of the sugar, we're going to use one and three-fourths cup of flour. I have the flour right here. Put the flour in there. And then after the flour, we're going to put in three-fourths cup of unsweetened cocoa. So we have our cocoa. And then after that, we're going to put in our baking soda, and that's one and a half teaspoons. And here's my, okay, that's the baking powder. Baking soda. And I already have my teaspoons in here to make it a little bit easier. And these are actually half teaspoons, so I need one and a half. So I'm going to put three of these in there. That's a half. That's one. That makes one and a half. And then also for the baking powder, we're going to do one and a half. And again, I have a teaspoon already in here. So one. That was one half. Here is one. And then that makes one and a half. Then we're going to put in our salt. And I have an extra teaspoon here sitting on the counter. We need one teaspoon salt. And again, I have halves. I don't know where's all my one teaspoons. I have all these half teaspoons. So two of those make one. One teaspoon. And then what we're going to do is settle it in there like this. And we just want to mix it up. So you can just put it on low. Okay, that's pretty much combined. You just want to mix it till it's combined. Knock it off the over there. And then what we're going to do, you guys, we're going to add in some eggs. And we just need two eggs. I have my two eggs right here and I already have them in a bowl because one thing I don't like to do or I try not to do is crack the eggs over in my mix and my ingredients because sometimes it does happen. A piece of shell or something, no matter how hard you try not to get a shell in there, sometimes it gets in there, then you got to get it out. So we're going to put our eggs in here. Then we have some milk. Let me go grab my milk. And we got one cup. So one cup of milk. And then we're going to put in some vegetable oil. So a half a cup of vegetable oil. And I have my fourth teaspoon here. So two of these fours equal a half. And 
And then I'm going to add my vanilla, vanilla extract. And we're going to use for the vanilla, the vanilla extract, we're going to use one and a half teaspoons. And again, I have a half, a half, I don't know if you can see that really well. So I put three in there because I had a half to make one and a half. And actually, I'm sorry, we need two teaspoons. I'm sorry. So let me throw another half in there. So again, the ingredients for the cake, two cups of sugar, one and three fourths cup of flour, three fourths of unsweetened cocoa, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, two large eggs, one cup of milk, a half a cup of vegetable oil, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and the last ingredient, you guys, is one cup of very hot, strong coffee. So let me grab that over here. I have it in a coffee cup, of course, <laughs> because it's hot. <laughs> Mix that on low. Don't never mix it on high at first because you don't want all your ingredients flying all over the place. And then after it's mixed pretty well, I increase it on medium. And then like halfway through, I like to scrape the sides. Just scrape the sides just to make sure everything is very well incorporated in the mix. And start it back up. now, as you can see, the cake looks very thin, and that's exactly the way that you want it. The coffee thins it out a bit and adds it a little mocha to the flavor. So now that that looks like it's all mixed in pretty well, we're going to divide this into two nine-inch cake pans. Make sure you spray if you use baking spray like i do um make sure you spray the entire cake pans both of the nine inch pans if you use some people like to use flour and um the vegetable oil the hard vegetable oil, the solid vegetable oil, i should say if you do that of course you know grease the entire pan and then sprinkle use some flour across the bottom of the pan but i like to use uh cooking spray and i'm gonna grab Move some of my stuff out the way. And I'm going to grab my two bake pans. And I already sprayed them down. So basically what I do usually, whether I'm using two pans, three pans, four pans, whatever, I like to try to just go one at a time, back and forth, trying to put the same amount in each one 
as possible. And I do this. Some people like to measure each one. Me, <clears throat> instead of using a measure, use, not a measuring cup, but using a like a, well, I guess it is a measuring cup. And putting like a cup in one, a cup in the other, a cup in one, a cup in the other, or they do, you know, something like that. Me, I just prefer the back and forth technique. And this works out pretty good for me. And you still get like an even amount in both. Okay. And so as you can see here, I'm sorry, I didn't even realize that the <clears throat> screen wasn't really clear. So as you can see here, I have two pans of the chocolate cake. I'm going to put these in the oven. And you want to have your oven um, preheated to 350 degrees, which is what you bake most cakes on. And then we're going to bake this cake for 30 to 35 minutes until the cake is set and until you can either put a toothpick in it or put a fork in it and it comes out clean. That's how I usually test my cakes. So after these cakes are done, after they are cooled off, I'm going to come back, you guys, and we're going to make the cookie dough for the inside filling. Okay, now it is time to make the homemade cookie dough for the filling of this cookie mustard cake. And first off, I'll show you what's in here. I have one and a half sticks of butter, which is three, four stick of butter. So to that, we're going to add some sugar. And how much sugar? Three fourths cup of sugar. We're going to blend this till it's nice and creamy and smooth. Stop it just so we can move around some of the sugar that's sitting down at the bottom. So just kind of mix some of that sugar around with the butter. Then we're going to put it back under there. Okay. Then we're going to add some milk and we're going to add some vanilla abstract. And I already have my milk over here to the side. And the amount of milk that we're going to add is three tablespoons of milk. So I'm going to pour that in there. And then for the vanilla abstract, we need one and a half teaspoons. And these, this is a half teaspoon, spoon, so one, two, three. That is one and a half teaspoons. And then we're just going to blend this. Just until it's smooth. And again, after mixing it for a minute, I'm going to use my little spatula to just incorporate. Let's mix that till it's nice and smooth. Now that we got the milk, the vanilla, we also have the sugar and the butter. Now what we're going to do is mix in our flour. And we have one and a half cups of flour. 
Also, you guys didn't see me, but I actually added um, some brown sugar as well to the sugar and to the butter. And for the brown sugar, you need three fourths of brown sugar as well. So three fourths of brown sugar and three fourths cup of three fourths cup of brown sugar and three fourths cup of regular sugar. Now we also um, just added the flour in here. use the spatula to scrape around a little bit of what's on the side, a little bit of the flour. It's coming together nice, y'all. Coming together nice. And the last ingredient, last ingredient we're going to add. Got to have the chocolate chips for the cookie dough. Got to have the chocolate chips, y'all. And for the chocolate chips, I use the tiny Nestle chocolate chips, you know, the mini chocolate chips, and we're using one and a half cups. So we're going to pour that in there. And we're going to stir it up. Until it's well combined. And again, usually halfway between anything I'm mixing, I just scrape down the sides, help everything incorporate and get mixed up really well. Okay. That is the cookie dough that we're going to put in between the cake. Scrape some of that off of there and let you see what it looks like. Yummy, 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 yummy. Hopefully you guys can see it pretty well. Okay, we are back. And we have our cookie dough. And we have one layer of the two nine inch round layer cakes that we're using to make this cookie monster cake. So first thing first, we're going to take the cookie dough that we made earlier and we're going to scoop some spoonfuls on here, spread it around as evenly as possible. And by the way, the cookie dough smells so good. The cake too. Something about homemade cakes compared to store-bought cakes. Mm, there is no comparison. There is no comparison. Now we're going to have some cookie dough left over. You can do with whatever you want with the cookie dough that's left over. But the cookie dough and the cake, we just want to, not a huge uh, layer of frosting, because we do know that cookie dough is really thick, really rich, but we definitely want enough on there for a nice filling. Let's get it all kind of evenly layered. Try not to have some on the side. Okay. Like it's about all evenly layered there. So I'm going to take this cookie dough and I'm going to 
put this to the side. And then we have our other cake, the top layer that we are going to put on the cake. And now that we have our cake put together, we are going to frost it. And you see, I have some blue frosting that I colored earlier. So we're going to coat the entire cake with a layer of blue frosting. And as you can see, I placed a smiley face on the cake made out of fondant. And now we're going to and now we're going to pipe the frosting onto the cake to make the, like the fur. And we were just gonna use a large grass tip. And we just gonna go around the bottom side of the cake. Do the bottom border first. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. And you can see some of the cookie dough coming out the side, which is okay. It's all gonna get eaten, y'all. It's all gonna get eaten. <laughs> So we got the bottom row done. Now we're just gonna start on the next row.
we are going to start on the top of the cake with the blue fur. But I'm not going to do this over here yet because I'm going to put some white eyeballs over there. So I'm going to just fill in around the mouth. Do the back of the cake, just the top border before we apply the eyes. I have two circle fonda pieces that I made earlier. One right here. The one right here. And then I have some blue circle balls I made earlier that I'm gonna use for the eyeballs. Put a little And then now that we got the eyes on there and the eyeballs, and the, you see the eyeballs are cross-eyed because it's a baby kicky monster. So the eyeballs are cross-eyed. But I'm gonna show you a better glimpse after I finish putting the rest of this frosting on here. For the rest of the fur, go around the eyeballs. Try not to get any fur on the inside of the eyeball. <laughs> Just want to get around it. <laughs> okay. All right, I think we did pretty good. Didn't get inside the eyeball. Making sure. Uh, the frosting looks pretty even all the way around. I'm going to hold it up so you can see it. <laughs> cute, cute. And last but not least, everyone, we done put a cookie in the mouth of the cake. <laughs> Thanks. See there? <laughs>
Cook it, cook it, my friend. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And remember, I have three channels, Tanya's Primetime TV Media Reviews, Tanya's The Light Slice by Slice, and The Hood Table. So please make sure you subscribe to all three channels. And in the meantime and in between time, stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out.